Hi, how do you say time in Dutch? Good question, and it's the subject of this video. So, uh, you may have already seen uh, tijd and keer used as time. But you cannot just pick one whenever you like. No, there are some rules for keer and there are the rules for tijd. So, what's the difference between the two? Well, let's see two examples here. Ze doet het drie keer. She does it three times. And ik heb geen tijd. I don't have time. So, ze doet het drie keer. If you can count the times, like uh, if it's countable, once, twice, three times, four times, five times, etc., etc., then we're going to use keer. However, if you're using time as the concept of time, I don't have time right now, well, you're not saying I don't have one time, two time, three time, no, 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 no. Then you're going to use tijd as the concept of time. And that's it. But there is more to say about it. Uh, keer is in the singular. It can be quite confusing because you're saying three times, right? Yes. Uh, Keer is one of those words that are usually in the singular. Only when you want to stress the separate times you've uh, you've said or you're, or you're talking about, then you're going to use keer in the plural in, as in keren. But most of the time it's keer. Also, uh, tijd is in the singular just like uh, keer. But there's even so, a little bit more about uh, time than just keer and tijd. In some cases, you have to use another word. For example, op dat moment ben ik thuis. Or synonym, op dat tijdstip ben ik thuis. And op dat ogenblik ben ik thuis. What does that mean? Well, on that time, I am at home. And what does time mean here? It means moment, on that moment, like one moment in time. Tijd is the general concept of time, like I don't have any time, but tijd, step, ogenblik and moment, these are specific for one moment, just one moment in time. All right, and how do you say what time is it? Well, then you're not going to use tijd, you're going to ask hoe laat is het. So remember, if you're counting the number of times, we're going to use keer. If you're really using tijd as a general concept, tijd. And if you're using time as a specific moment, you have a few choices there. Tijd, step, moment, or ogenblik. Good, if you want written explanations and do some exercises on Tijd and keer, etc. Uh, then I invite you to become a member to my channel that you can do uh, simply via the link in the description. See you there. Tot ziens.